During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. When? These rounded corners on these really old crofts that you get. The Scots tend to be quite superstitious people, at least they certainly were. And they'll tell you that this is because the, de the devil, to see the devil round the corners or something like that, or to stop cattle from rubbing themselves against it. But I just think both of those are probably nonsensical. I don't know why they're curved. Maybe it was just traditional to put them that way, but I don't think it's either of those things, in my humble opinion. I know why they're curved. Aerodynamics. It's aesthetics. Ancient. It's Celtic. Pictish. It's anti-Roman. Political statement. Exactly. Romane aunt domus. Stylish or what? I feel like I feel like one of those painting restorers. You know those oil painting restorers and that, like they have on the repair shop, like Lucia, Lucia, as the commentator calls her. Um, or actually, no, they they all have it. They they all do this, don't they? Always kind of falls over there. That's it. That's it. That's more like them. Beautiful. Anyway, I've been uh, in the buyer hunting for our magnet on the end of a rope to go magnet fishing and I found it, it took ages to find it oh, that's what's on my back now so we're going to go and find an old bridge tomorrow and um, go magnet fishing which I'm excited about it's been ages since we've done that look at this tree autumn is definitely here So we thought we'd come back to this uh, very old bridge that we filmed recently and do a bit of magnet fishing, which we haven't done for, it's got to be at least, well, it's got to be over a year. Well, the thing about magnet fishing is it's a bit of a labour of love because you never really get anything. Never find anything, apart from squiggly old bit of metal. We found a pickaxe head and bridge pins it's not very deep no you can pretty much see the bottom uh which is good because there hasn't been a lot of rain recently and also it means that we by the looks of the riverbed we're not going to lose the um the magnet well, that's down river so maybe we should be on that side does it really matter? Well, we probably have some of our previous finds in here. Did you bring our actual finds? What? Isn't it lovely? Coins? Here, let me zoom in. Yeah, there's a lot of coins in there. But yeah, just rusty old bits of metal is usually what you pull out. But hey, you know, it's fun because you never know. And the other thing is, it's that uh, 
that moment of joy when you feel the tension when you know you've got something look how rusted that is now <laughs> yeah it's been a while i think we might be needing a new magnet so remember we need to uh, keep checking keep it. checking the what's it yes we've lost one of these magnets before I think that was in a very deep it was in like a, a deep pool and a series of waterfalls and uh it got stuck to something there's no way we could pull it off so we just had to say goodbye throw throw the cord in and that was it and that was what 80 quid's worth of magnet and how much do you think that's worth uh as in scrap value yeah probably about a third of a pence back in the day <clears throat> are you doing the first lob or I, am I? you can do the first lob i'm i'm doing the first film i'm just going to sit back here and swipe my pipe watch you all right did you bring your pipe <laughs> no, i didn't know now if we we've got a long enough rope that if we need to repel anywhere not that we've got a harness or know how to tie any knots or anything like that but it, I tell you what's unusual about this place, we're not overlooked by anybody. Usually there's a house right nearby and people walking by, this bridge isn't used anymore. And that one is. Well that's going to be annoying isn't it? Often these bridges were painted white, a lot of them are general Wade's bridges, like Jacobi Jacobian times I think, or post Jacobian or pre Jacobian, that sort of era. Well, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted. We usually get interrupted by people gawping at you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Lobbing a magnet. Lob a style. Bye, magnet. Make this one count. First one. As far as landscaping goes, I'm probably satisfied, reserving the right to make one or two tweaks. I want, there was a big mound of spoil here from whenever the Atlantic wall was installed. So I've just spread that down now over the last of the rubble. 
and have some slim stones here set aside so that I can do some crazy paving over this muddy area once I dig this irrigation channel out a bit better. But yeah, it's looking uh, a lot more open now. Less urban. We'd quite like to somehow make it look a bit nicer up here as well. Maybe take this, these paving slabs off the top of this wall and just round this corner out a little bit. I think it's the corners that are a wee bit offensive to the eyes. Get some crazy paving on here as well and cover this in mud too. Definitely getting there. I'm happy with this. This Scott came walking out the woodland holding this bunch of heather which is transplanted quite nicely there actually. A few months ago there'd have been no way of getting up here. But now it's all dying back. And again we just followed a deer path. We got straight to it. it. Took no more than like two minutes. Hello. What do we know about this place? The construction and shape of crofts with their thick insulating and protective walls, their thatched roofs and interior layouts are a natural progression from ancient Celtic roundhouses and the Cranogs of prehistory. It's more pragmatic to think a croft's rounded corners come from the need to support an oval rain shucking and weather resistant thatch roof, such as they always did in the far distant past. Not many a devil lurking around the corners in these parts. Although in this modern age of inclusion, if any did show up, they'd probably be invited to supper or into the schoolhouse to learn their Gaelic Bibles alongside everybody else. curved corners which kind of predict its age it's not an exact science but the more rounded the corners are the older it can be the stonework is exactly the same as the cottage however this is smaller and the walls are nowhere near as thick somebody's house way back when and up here is the old school house which I showed you briefly from the other direction, I don't know, about three weeks ago. So that's where we're going next.
Bless you. You can already see the salt crystals forming on the side of the pot. This has about, oh, it's been 20 litres boiled down to that much, maybe half that size of pot. So I've got another 10 litres to add to it. It's a slow process. This is the school. Quite a sizable building. Why do the deer tracks always lead straight to them? <laughs> deer obviously have some sort of sense of history. <laughs> Maybe appreciation of history. So what do we have here? Oh, hang on, before we go any further, this is what we've been told is the old schoolhouse, yeah? Yep, yeah, it's sizable enough to be. Although one half of it. Well, this, this section here has completely disappeared. I mean, you might, it's all been robbed out, hasn't it? Yeah, they used them to, uh, they used them as quarries, essentially, to rebuild their own houses or... filled in but it looks like it's only filled in to this point so it's probably been used for livestock after its first uh, inception and is that a step there or it's, hard to say. It's, it's not a loose piece of stone it's underneath there and then there's this culvert you said that like you were from the West Country. I said, I said it like uh, Hank out of Breaking Bad. Remember? Culvert. It's strange though because it looks like it's going in but there's been no point with that. Unless it was putting it like No, that looks like it's original. Anyway, it looks like it's angled inwards which is obviously you don't want the water going in. It's nice to see an intact doorway. It's built exactly the same way as our place. And those bits of wood in there? That's no. No. In the actual door frame.
Is that a stone? No, nope. wood. Oh, I thought that thought it looked like wood. I will show you. The window's cool. See this way of putting these very large stones either side of entrances or exits. It's like up on the hill in the last episode with that gateway into the field. They've done it exactly the same way. In later years in school buildings such as these, children learn geometry, notation, arithmetic, reading and spelling. But even from earlier days, one of the main focuses of the schoolhouse was to teach the native Gaelic speakers English. There was also a society established which sole focus was to ensure the children were able to fluently understand the Bible in Gaelic. This Society for the Support of Gaelic Schools recorded that to this end it wasn't just children to be found in the schoolhouses, but also young men and unmarried women even up to the age of 30, all under the supervision of generally one schoolmaster or mistress. It was always tradition in the Highlands and Islands for a visitor to a home to bring a bundle of firewood or a brick of peat across your doorstep. This same tradition extended to those attending school. Students would bring with them a brick of peat for the fire to contribute their share to the warmth in the schoolroom. School records frequently recorded the perceived poverty students faced, though the children themselves would have known life to be no different than they were accustomed to. It's recorded that often wealthy local landowners would attend the schools at feast days such as Christmas and coronations and bestow upon the children gifts such as warm cloaks, new boots or sweets. A schoolhouse was one room with one heating source and everybody jam-packed into the space, something the students would have been very used to as families were large. It'd be no unusual thing to see a small croft cottage, such as we have ourselves on the island, housing a family of 12 or 14, right the way up until the Victorian period. Zoom in. Aww. Is that bloody thing working? Right. Bob two. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go. Could you, could you stop moving? Like you're like literally lobbing it behind me. Almost went in then. Is that so we find Wallace's sword? You told me that Wallace wasn't around these parts. Neither was Bert, uh, sword was. Uh, Bruce. Wallace's sword was. Hang on, is there anything on that? A bit of algae? Oh.
It's just stuck behind that big rock, wasn't it? Maybe, maybe we need to go find Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's something on that. A, a what is that? Squiggly little bit of metal. What did I say? Wow. Well, we've been here 45 minutes and we found nothing. So uh, this is going to be Katie's last throw. It's unusual to not find anything. A bit of metal. Probably going to have to throw it a bit further than that. Well, it would have been, but yeah, like you say there's another bridge that they've a road bridge that they've put right next to it. It's not been used anymore, so. But you usually pull out at least a coin. All right, one more. When you were talking to that woman, I actually got it stuck, but literally right on the bank, but it wedged between two rocks. Is that I know then? Nothing. Well, it was uh, Katie's idea to do this, so we'll all blame her. Say again? How do you wrap it? You just have to roll it into a ball, don't you? Okay, well, it's like Piccadilly Circus around here, so... Should we go? It's an old set of disused steps. Uh, should have climbed them. I can't climb the top part, but I might be able to climb the bottom part. Let's have a look. Well, the bottom half is uh, sturdy enough, but this is carved out of an old tree trunk and it's obviously collapsed and rotting. I'm not going to be even, I mean, you could get around that way, which looks like people have been doing or the deer have. Well, I made it up. I don't know what's over here, so you'll be seeing it with me for the first time. Look over there in the far distance, you'll see the elephant, 
those of you that haven't seen that episode will be thinking, what the hell is he talking about? Just an incredible view. Look at the uh, colours in those trees. It's the mainland over in the distance. So we've just come to the back of this schoolhouse and we've found this old trackway leading, well I'm panning across it left to right with a camera. Katie's walking down to it now, but you can see it down there. So we're just gonna follow it. This is a, uh, a much easier elevation to, to climb than the one that's at the back of the schoolhouse. So our thinking is that maybe this was the, the old route to the homesteads from our island. Getting attacked by something. They didn't. They didn't really seem to care that that they were, you know, going steeply up and down paths. We're we're so used to paths meandering us gently up places rather than, you know, because of roads. But they were on their feet, or they were on, you know, taking horses in hand. So. Well, that looks a bit too steep to me. I think it's down here, don't you? That way. Yeah. Well, I'm going to walk down to where that bracken is and then I'll, I'll come back up. But I'm sure that this has to be it. It's Look how flat it is and easy to climb. Oh, I'm still nursing that hit me injury. I think we'll be doing this. I think it is. I can't see down here because it's still too uh, dense with uh, foliage. But it's, I think, yeah, I think it's this. Interesting that there are no windows on this wall of the old schoolhouse. Perhaps for warmth. Perhaps because windows were expensive. This would have been filled with, I was going to say the, the laughter of children, but they probably weren't allowed to lark about, were they, when they were at their lessons. Here is another, what we found are red deer wallows. The stags like to uh, urinate in these and wallow in them and make themselves suitably perfumed for their lady loves. We're a bit con we are confused about this place. It's uh, Ewan, who's a good source for the history of this area, who told us that this was a, the old schoolhouse. Uh, it's the, the second of the two buildings that are up here, and the larger of the two. And it certainly looks like it would have been. But the problem that we've got is we, we, can't, we don't understand. No windows. And even though there is a possibility that this wall that comes down here has been robbed out completely, because why wouldn't it be? We can't find any of it. So therefore, at the minute, we've got this huge wall with this coming off at a right angle and then nothing that we can see. And on this part of the building, there's no, there's no way for, for, the, for this wall to, to meet. So it could have come like this, it could have gone in, which it probably did, but there's just no signs of it anyway. 
but they're not going to build something this substantial as in this wall that you're now looking at uh, for no reason and this high so this would have had a roof on it all the way along so there would have been uh, is it a retaining wall? I don't know okay well I'm probably wrong but another wall coming along here obviously to take the roof on but there's just nothing left of it so it looks odd